Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on the Motorola Backflip. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and search for a how to load a custom ROM on the Motorola Backflip procedure. Okay, before you begin, you must have done our how to root procedure. There's a link right there in step one to take you to that if you haven't done so already. Do it, then come back to this one and we can continue. Okay, the first thing you need to do to load a custom ROM is to flash a custom recovery image. So you're going to download the custom recovery image we have here. Uh, and save it somewhere to your computer. Okay, once you download the recovery image.zip file, we gotta right click it, extract all, and then for the destination, we're gonna click browse. This is where we're extracting it to. And we're gonna go to our computer, see our Android SDK, and then inside tools, and click OK. So that's where it's gonna put it, hit extract, and now the recovery.img should be inside the tools folder. So you'll see Android SDK tools and recovery.img. And now we're going to plug the phone in via USB cable. And we're going to go hit charge only. And then we're going to go to menu settings, applications, development, make sure that USB debugging is checked on. Okay. Now we're going to open the command prompt on the computer by clicking on the start menu and then in the search box typing CMD, hitting enter. This will open a command prompt like so. Okay, then we're going to type the following into the command prompt with hitting enter at the end of each line. And when you type SU here in the command prompt, it might pop up on your phone asking you to allow it. Click allow. And that should give you the number symbol like so. So once you're done typing, it should look like that, with no errors in there. And uh, you're good to go. Okay, yeah, so we have a custom recovery image flashed to our phone. We're now going to actually load a ROM. So in section 3, you'll see a link there to click uh, to get to the Click XT ROMs. We're going to click that. And then scroll down, you'll see a list of the ROMs that we have. If you have any more, please feel free to send them in. We'll post them here. I'm going to use the Raptor ROM, so we're going to click on that. Link right there. And then download the ROM from that site. Okay, so we're downloading the ROM. We can unplug our phone. If it's still plugged in from before. And we're going to plug it in. And this time we're going to select USB drive so that we mount the... SD card so we can transfer files to it. Okay, now we're going to take the ROM file once it's down, uh, done downloading. And we're going to leave it as a .zip, do not extract it, and we're going to copy it to our SD card, but not inside any of the folders, just on the SD card itself. So this way it's going to be, the folder is going to be visible or the zip file is going to be visible within removable disk. And wait for that to transfer. Okay, once it's done transferring, we can unplug the phone, and then we're going to turn it off. Once it's off, we're going to turn it back on by holding down power and camera and keep holding it until it tells you to release the camera button. It just says right there, so we're going to release them both. Then it'll give us these options. We're going to push volume down to select recovery mode. It'll say volume down, key pressed, and then it'll boot into recovery mode. Okay, and we'll be greeted with our little custom recovery image. So you use uh, the volume keys to select and you use the home key to uh, actually choose your option. So we're going to go down to backup restore first. We're going to do a NAND backup and uh, backup everything on the phone. Okay, once it says backup complete, hit 
back to return to the main menu. And now we're going to select wipe, wipe data factory reset, home to confirm, wait for it to format. Data wipe complete, we're going to hit back, we're going to go to flash zip from SD, we're going to choose the quench or whatever ROM that you put on here, hit home, hit home to confirm, and wait for it to finish flashing. Okay, once it says install from SD card complete, we can click on reboot system now and wait for the phone to reboot. Once it does, it'll reboot into our new ROM and you're all set. Enjoy.